back here with Greenland. About to go to the fourth turn. So let's go ahead and turn over the event card and see what lies in store for our players today. Oh, the West Greenland Current. So we're going to have cannot enter Markland, so that means we can't go to the south or the north at all. It's going to be closed off to even uh, tribes with mariners. We're going to have an elder die off where we roll. And what happens is when you have that sort of symbol that has the die on it, for every one of those you roll a die. And this is where we look at the one through six. And if let's say we're going to roll for the red right now, the Norse. If I roll a one, their chief would die. If they had an elder anywhere else and I roll that number, they would die. So let's start with the Norse. Okay, they don't. They didn't roll a one, and they don't have a a, uh, a four war chief. So we're gonna go over here to the tool. We're gonna roll for them. They roll a five. They don't have a tracker, so they're okay. And here is where the tunit might possibly suffer, right? Nope, they roll a five, and they don't have a tracker. So that one's pretty easy to deal with. Uh, nothing gonna happen there. The next one is um, a crowding uh, disruption. So, or devastation, I forget what they call it exactly. And it's 11 plus. If we look here, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. The Norse are going to suffer uh, this effect, unfortunately. They were just one shy. Everybody else has under that amount of threshold of unassigned hunters. And that's kind of actually really bad for them. They're going to lose, what is that? You have to lose at least half, so you're going to lose six. So they lose three, four, five, six. They lose six guys, and they lose their only elder because you have to lose an elder whenever you have this sort of decimation occur. So wow, they are not in good shape. And to make things even more fun, we have another global cooling event. So the polar bear is gonna jump over to the other side. And actually what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift over the tableau and the caribou have also moved over. And I think I can just slide the cards over. I don't think there's any issue with having gaps. I know that if you play, um, for example, Neanderthal, then I know there's like ice sheets and things that can move cards up and down. There's not really a card that can transfer between the northern and southern rows in this game. So I think we're going to be safe if we just sort of fill in the gaps as we go. Sorry, I'm doing this all on camera. It's probably really shaky and annoying. But there we go. So now you can see we've got two different places here on the cold side. Not so great. It's going to be more difficult and getting trackers is going to be more important. We didn't really do that last round and that's probably going to be a problem we're going to have to address this round. Okay, so that was relatively easy. We also did not have a boat, so there's no auction. And the first player to go is green. They have the option of having someone else go first. And that may not be a terrible idea for them because they already have a lot of energy. They don't really need to grow necessarily. Um, they are gonna take this out. Well, I guess they'll decide when they go, but they are gonna decide not to go first. I think this is a good time for them to sort of hold back and see what the other players are gonna do given their issues. Let's see, we do know that the tool would like to get a sage back so they could take this um, invention that's just a, a, a thought in their head and actually make that happen. I think they will probably do that when their turn comes up. So I think what they're gonna do is the green is gonna have yellow go first. Because once again, without a mariner, they won't be able to leave the northern biome. Uh, they don't have access to a sled. Neither do the uh, tunit, you know, they do, they actually, they don't have a mariner either. So yeah, they're going to let yellow go first and sort of dictate where they go, and then we're going to see what happens from there. And then we'll go ahead and have red go second, and then green will go last. So yellow actually has some energy, and they really need to probably get a tracker, because it's going to get more difficult as we get more and more cold um, objects. But they also need a sage. Ugh, this is tough. This is tough. How many maritime things do we have? We have the bird cliffs, the sharks, not very helpful. And nobody here. So really that invention is not totally useful for us right now. There's not that many items out there that can really help with. It was kind of good to grab to get to see what kind of card we would get, but it was really just this little awk. That's not very helpful. So yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow luckily still has some people in Vinland. They probably need to start thinking about getting another mariner or a tracker just to help them at least get something over here, and that might be what they have to do with the polar bear. They may need to go do that, attack him, or go after the muskox. So I think what we're going to do, since we still have the possibility of getting energy out of Vinland, which is not great, we're going to spend an energy and promote uh, one of our undersigned guys, and he's going to go become a tracker now for us. I probably need to get the mariner, because I definitely need to start thinking about moving south. Uh, especially that hooded seal, that's actually a really nice animal there. 
But I'm going to start with the tracker because as things get colder, uh, we're definitely going to need to be able to hunt over here more. And I'm kind of hoping I'll get lucky again on that Vinland, although that's going to be very tough to do. But maybe I can do it. Oh, the Sage gives me rerolls on four. I should have thought about that. I forgot they did that. Um, dang, should have thought about that. Okay. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to go first. Obviously, we would like to maybe get some of these options here to get free promotion of guys, but we failed in all those rolls. And honestly, if Green's going to go last, they could probably just throw some hunters in to protect whoever we decide to go for to marry. We could try to raid these guys, but we don't have um, a boat. So we need a mariner to actually get to the south. That might have been actually better than a tracker, but I think I'm going to use my tracker because we need to get some. Ivory would be nice. Just a bit on things. That would actually be cool. And that might be what we do, although the musk ox is actually pretty nice. And if we get him, we could also get access to a sled, even though that's pretty high energy cost as well. So I think what we're going to do is try to go for that musk ox there. You just need doubles and two success rolls get two. That's not a whole lot. And the ringed seal honestly offers us a better deal. We could maybe possibly domesticate the musk ox, but again, he costs, you can see there, two energy to give you this access to sled and two babies a turn. And we're already having a hard time meeting energy requirements as it is. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for that ring seal. And the musk ox? Should we try to go for both? And the little ox maybe? But that's just spreading us a little too thin. I think I'd rather just go for the guaranteed. Although we need to we need to get some energy. Oh, we really do need to kind of raid over here. So maybe we're going to try to do both. That might have to happen. I don't know. I think we need to think about trying to get a daughter married or at least steal one. Because we really could use that um, free energy promotion. That's actually something we need to do. Oh, this is a tough one. This is where it gets hard, guys. We're only in round four, and it's already very tough choices. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to take all the guys, and take, except for um, three. So here's what I'm going to do, because green is my biggest rival. But if I take three guys... Oh, do I have a war chief? Oh, I do. Oh, I do. So that's super big. I'm going to take these three guys, and we are going to try to once again take the... We're going to try to do another Sabine raid here on Nelly. We're going to try to get her. These other three guys are going to go, and they're going to take on the Ringed Seal, because I think that's probably the best bet, and we're going to... Well, we automatically get it with the Alpha there, I guess. But we're trying to deter any attacks from green. Although we have the most iron, so actually they wouldn't be able to really get to us. We would always have the first attack. Ooh, let's maybe mess with green a little bit since they chose to do that. We're going to place... Yes, this is what we're going to do. Actually, we're going to do this the other way around. Because I don't really want to lose the alpha. I want to be able to get this. Actually, nah, fuck it. We'll do that. Oh, sorry. Inappropriate language. Fudge it. We're going to do that. Okay. Might be a little risky. We're going to spread our forces quite thin. That's the way it's going to go. Up come the Norse. Uh, the Norse, of course, have access to a sled. And they can reroll fours. And reroll fours become ones on metallurgical things. Which is very nice for the uh, Vinland thing. We're going to have to remember that when we do it this time. Also, Sigrid allows us to reroll threes. Got to remember that, too. We have no elders, <laughs> and we really don't have the hunters or energy to do it because we just took a devastating losses. So we need to start rebuilding the population stat, and I'm thinking that either means bird cliffs, but probably that hooded seal is probably gonna be where we're gonna go. I would like to grab that guy, especially he's so good right now. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all of our guys. And we're gonna go to the hooded seal. Um, should I be trying to spread out? No, there's no easy successes here. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the Hooded Seal because no one can come south, and that gives me at least two babies and an energy if we win. I think that's a really prudent, good move there for the red. Um, also not able to conduct raids or move. Well, they can go if they have a sled, so they could go to the north, but there's really nothing worth going for in the north uh, right now, I guess, for them. They already got their ivory from that polar bear hunt, so they're pretty happy with that. And they don't have a tracker, so that would be actually bad for them to go on the cold side. So they'll just go ahead and take that Hooded Seal opportunity. All right, green now has some tough choices. They decided to go last. They could potentially go out and keep hacking at yellow, attacking the ring seal, attacking the little auk. They maybe want to defend against a Sabine raid because this is, this is what's kind of penalizing uh, the tool is that they don't really have energy. They can't just keep, if another energy comes up to pay for elders, they're going to be in a, in a hot spot. Is that worth defending? I could maybe do, and I do have a war chief. So if I defend, that might be smart to do. So maybe what I'm going to do is, ooh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to take these four guys, that leaves me with three others ones, yeah. And we're going to come over here and we're actually going to try to defend Nelly. 
I think we're gonna decide to defend her because I don't want that guy to get married. We're gonna take our other three cubes and we actually gonna go after the alpha there. I should have left that other guy there, that would've been smart. The alpha with the ring seal. Now, of course, they'll get to attack first because they have more armor or more iron. Psh. Whatever. They might have more armor, but it's basically more iron. They have more weapons, I guess, or access to offensive means. But we'll have more die total to roll, so I think we can maybe have a good shot at taking him out. Even though, I think I might have goofed this. After the hunt rolls, or after the attack rolls, when you do hunting rolls, whoever's got the least amount of cubes there goes first. And I think I kind of screwed that up. I think I said player order, but it's least amount. So yellow will get to go no matter what, because unless we eliminate them, because they'll have the least amount. And speaking of yellow, we're going to go ahead and resolve these rounds, right? So they went first. Let's go ahead and see if they get that little awk. That's pretty easy, low bet for them. They do, so they get one baby and these two get to go back home. And they get one more from the pile here to place in their stack there. Here we're gonna rumble in the jungle. We get to go first. We could negotiate with them and I could just be like, oh yeah, you know, blah, 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 but I don't really have anything to offer them. I don't really wanna give them iron or anything and I think I can maybe I'll suffer a loss and I'm not too worried about it. actually that was stupid I was kind of done what I should have done was wait on that awk thing because if I lose my alpha you can bring it back as a baby but only if you get a baby that was kind of dumb oops that was a mistake I'm not going to fix that because that's, that's, that's me being stupid I should have done this in this order I should have done this one first and then seen and brought him back possibly but maybe we'll still get this I don't know so we're going to have to rumble we're going to have to roll a we don't have a war chief or anything or do we oh yeah we do Nice. Both sides have a war chief, actually, but I have the alpha, so I get to roll a one or a two when it's a raid, so we're going to roll this. Don't think I'm going to change his raids, do I? No. So I'm going to roll. They miss, or the alpha misses. Those three greens are going to roll ones because their alpha isn't there, so they're going to retaliate. And they miss. Okay, great. So we might have a shot. Actually, we are going to win this one. So that attack was actually pretty rough for the green because by losing we automatically get this because he's gonna use his auto success. We get the ring seal. These guys go home empty handed. We get a baby and some energy for that and our alpha comes back unscathed. All right, that's actually pretty nice. It got up to five energy now, some four unassigned hunters. We will attempt to do the Vinland because we kind of need these guys, but we also need this success if at all possible. Very rough though. Do we reroll any metallurgical? No, because our Sage is still not active, so we don't have any metallurgical rerolls. So we're going to roll three dice and hope for the best like we did last time, which is very unlikely. Ooh, one success, but that's just not quite enough. And of course, threes do kill you, so we lose one more guy. That means we're probably going to be pretty much done doing stuff in Vinland. So right now, Norse could spend an ivory to flip this back to the peaceful side. So could the tool, but I think they won't. They're gonna make the Norse do it, I think, because they are losing their ability to gain anything there, and the Norse have everything to gain, so maybe we'll make them spin an ivory. So that's the end of Yellow's turn. They put all the stuff out. Actually, wait, Yellow had a Sabine raid. Boop, boop, boop. Forgot about that. So, we're gonna have the raid, but first we have an attack. We have some people defending here, so we get, what, four die. It becomes a one or two, because it's a war party. Just one hit. So they'll kill this guy. Yellows retaliate with their two dice. They miss utterly and completely. And I believe they still get to roll for the save on raid because they didn't quite drive them off, right? So then I'm gonna roll these two dice. There's two guys, we're looking for ones or threes. Well, we got a three. That kills this guy off, that is success. So I believe we get to marry the daughter. So that actually was totally worth it. And just to double check, I did that right. I really should have looked it up. I meant to, because I was like, I think I'm gonna do save on rating. Roll for the hunt. Here we go. Well, we did have a successful hunt. And the thing is we had to attack each other because everybody's in the same space, right? Yeah, and we had the war party. Yep. So we survived the attack and we had a successful raid. So we get to put this cube now on here and yellow has now gained the ability to use Nelly. Uh, Nelly's ability as well, which is the free promotion of elders without energy cost. 
Now, one of the things we could do on our Elder Action turn is attempt to banish this guy. In any case, we have to spend an energy, we roll a die, and if we get a one, then um, then we get to remove that cube. And actually, I should probably look at that, too. So that's such a rare one. I don't think I'd know that one, too. Here we go. Expend one energy and make a martyr roll. Roll a number of dice equal to your maximum hand size. For each one rolled, kill off an alien missionary representative or husband. So our hand size, if we tried to do that, actually would be one right now. We would get one die roll. That's why we need, kind of, we need to start doing some literate daughters. We need to do that for green. Wow, green just looking so bad. Wasn't able to kill those guys. Wasn't able to save their daughter from being um, attacked. Or I guess stolen. I guess one of the daughters technically stolen. Not that one, just a group of daughters with those skills, I suppose. Uh, okay, so that was the end of Yellow's turn. Now we're going to go to Red. Red's going to go ahead and do the Vinland as well. They could spend an... Oh, they can't spend an Ivory. It has to be at the end. They can spend an Ivory, I believe, at the end to flip it back to the top. And they don't really want to spend one of their Ivory right now because they have the most. So... And they don't win ties. So they don't really want to spend an Ivory right now. But they will try to see if they can get a roll on here. So they got four dice. Lots and lots of bad things can happen, but let's see. Yeah, no successes and lots and lots of bad things. Two threes and sixes, huh? Well, that's just one bad thing. So they lose one. And we'll go here. We need to roll four dice. We have an auto success automatically. I could try to see if I get triples. Because Norse could maybe gain the uh, point advantage here doing that. But then again, they would just, they would basically take away one of their only sources of energy which I think is not a good idea for them right now. So I think they're just going to roll four dice and, and maybe consider it if it happens, right? So we're not going to try to roll for the uh, Alpha because we're just going to take his auto success. Four die. Well, luckily we got one more success there. So we got two. There are no penalties. We did not roll triples, so we're safe there. But we get two babies and an energy for the red, which is good. We need energy, and we need to kind of replenish our, our uh, stocks of guys, because we're hurting, we're hurting so bad. We could go monotheistic right now, which might not be a terrible idea, considering that we have ivory and iron and spades, um, and possibly have access to Vinland again. But we do that, I guess, at the end of the sixth phase. We'll decide that in a minute. Anyway, successful. Comes back. All right, I think that was everybody, right? Oh no, green gets to go, but green doesn't have anything left because they were unable to get the unsuccessful hunt there. I guess they still have Marklin they can go for. You can't transport there, but I assume you can still roll for it if you have guys there. It seems kind of weird if you can't get there to get energy from it. But we'll go ahead and roll five. Actually, can we even do that? Is that worth it? No, we have eight energy, so that's not even worth it. Hmm, so he didn't do anything. <laughs> green kind of just chills out. Uh, okay. That's the end of all the roll for hunts and fights. We're going to now do hay feeding. Of course, we still have the same situation going on here. Just that one who doesn't require any food, but he gives up a baby. So they got another guy there. Red's slowly but surely replenishing themselves. Nothing else here. No one else has any domesticated animals, so we're good there. We'll go to phase six, and we can try, since we are the green we, and we have so much energy, I think we will try to do a witch burn. Or, uh, yeah, or banish is what we're going to try to do. So we're going to spend an energy here. Actually, technically, wait. No, 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 no. I forgot. The Thule, the... Uh, oh, my goodness. Chittazigiriek. That's such a bad pronunciation of that. She lets you ignore the energy cost action of Elder Actions, but you still have to pay one here. So we're going to pay one. Plunk. And because we have plus one hand size, we have to roll one die, and we're looking for that one out of six chance. And we got it. Oh, denied. See ya. Out. That cube is gone. Wow, way to go. So that was that's actually really nice, successful. That is super, super good for green. Okay, that hurts yellow. That hurts yellow a lot, because they were actually going to probably do some nice free promotions. They don't have a lot of guys. They need to kind of get more, but man, that would have been nice not to spend energy on promotions. That would have been huge. Hmm, okay, so they did that. Should the Norse go monotheistic? That's something to think about. I don't know if I'm going to be able to really promote any guys. They really do need the energy, kind of. They don't really have anybody to pay for, though. But there is events that make you pay for domestic animals if you have any. So they only have one, though. Well, technically two, I guess. I don't know if that guy counts. Um, hmm. Should I go monotheistic? Let's take a look real quick, just the other side. It's mostly a lot of the same stuff. It's just now we'd be able to start proselytizing guys. 
throwing emissaries out there, but man, we don't even have enough to start really doing that. Although oof, that could be a whole different game. That could be something interesting. They do have two ivory. They do have two iron. They do have access to iron. That might be smart for the Norse player to do that because he can maybe go up here and raid the polar bear. Maybe grab that if he could. That would be huge. But he has access to iron here. He needs to get his mariner back. You know, why not? I think we're going to go monotheistic here. The Norse are going to switch over. We can't go back to being polytheistic, but that's okay because we're not really even trying to do necessarily the trophy game. So we do have two points for iron, one for ivory. So right now we have two for uh, six points. Although that does mean the polytheistic, if they ever went there, they could do, they could be awesome. But I think they're, they may have to think about doing that too. I don't know, they got a lot of elders right now. Is that the smart play? Do I really want to have the Norse become monotheistic? Yes, yes I do. Yes I do, I think we're going to do that. Because I have access to bog iron over here, so I can start generating more points. I have access to the Vinland. I can also start raiding in mass up on the polar bear too. So I think, yeah, I think we're going to do that. That's what the Norse are going to do. They're going to go monotheistic and go for that kind of victory there. Okay, is that everything? I think that's everything. We got the banish. That's pretty amazing. So let's take a look at the board here at the end of turn four. As you can see, animals are definitely heading to the cold side. It's getting harder and harder to hunt. Red has managed to blow up a little bit, get their cubes back on, and of course they've moved towards being a monotheistic society, so they're going to have to start collecting iron and ivory for victory points. Yellow, holding on. Not a lot of guys, though. Kind of running out. A lot of iron. Maybe should have thought of using an iron token to, to stave off losses somewhere, but I don't know if that was really going to help them that much, losing one guy in Vinland. Maybe, though. Maybe I should have done that. And then green, of course, didn't get anything really in the way of energy or anything else this turn. They already were pretty much stocked to the gills with energy so they're able to conduct that really nice banishment there on nelly huge move huge move all right so that's the end of turn four and when we come back as i try to put it all the way to the top we're going to have turn five of greenland